So now moving on to the anterior tooth here, you're going to want to go ahead and make your reference points for grading first. So we've got the marginal ridges all the way down in the cingulum and then the incisal edge. So you just want to note that it's not all the way to the edge of the tooth, it's at the height of contour on it and that kind of changes your measurement. And this is something that on exam day you can do once the typodont is in the mouth. So you don't want to mark that outside but when you're practicing you can go ahead and do that. And the other thing I'd go ahead and do, especially your first couple times practicing, is just draw yourself a rough outline of what you want your shape to look like. So it's just a triangle, it doesn't need to be perfect and that just kind of gives you where you're going. So you're going to need at least two millimeters towards the incisal edge. You'll need one millimeter on each side, mesial and distal, and then you're going to want greater than three millimeters towards the cingulum. So the one towards the cingulum is pretty impossible to do, but you do need to be careful of the marginal ridges and the incisal edge. But I still remember. Okay, so here you're going to start in with your Start here. Okay, so here we're going to start in with your access, and that's all we're going to talk about in this video. So when you're accessing an anterior tooth, your first angle in is going to be more like this, and then after you feel that you've dropped into the pulp chamber, you're going to upright it into that position more. So here we're just going to use a two round bar at first. Kind of start our access. Pop in like that. And there you can see that little drop into the roof of the pulp chamber at that point. So from there I'll keep going ahead and Start to make a rough outline of my shape, probably about 75% of what I imagine ending up as. That's very conservative, pretty small at this point. You can go ahead and rinse everything off and you can see the wax is really noticeable. So I'll go ahead and kind of scrape some of that out and then keep extending that size everywhere. Okay, so here at this point we've started to make it a little bit bigger and you can go ahead and start to scoop out some of the wax, similar to how we do on the molar. And now, on this one, especially since we are doing instrumentation, this is a good point where you could stick your 10 file in and just really get a feel for what your straight line access looks like. But you can see that, yeah, it extends facially. And so we'll go ahead and keep going. You can do it by hand. You can do it with a round burr at either slow or high speed, just depending on what's most comfortable in your hands. But you just want to be careful not to gouge any of the walls here. So I'll probably go back to the burr just because it's quickest, but if you want to take your time and do it this way, it's definitely something you can do too. And the one point you really want to notice is up in these corners, right at the top of the pulp horn, that's where people usually miss. So here I'm just using the round burr to go ahead and like small little strokes, continue to unroof. and extend the outline closer to our final shape. And just using the wax to guide me and where I'm going. So go ahead and take your time. On this endo section, you have a lot, a lot of time to get through this stuff. So even there, you can start to see that we're getting through a lot of that wax and pulling it out there. It's much closer there to where we want to be. I'll go ahead and start cleaning out this wall
So now you can see on the fascia wall we've got that cleared out. And now it's just up along those edges that we talked about earlier. So I'll go with an instrument first and see if that can be scooped out. And if not, then we'll just enlarge the access. There's some spots up there where you can kind of feel it. It catches on a bit, particularly up in that corner. So I am going to go ahead and smooth it out, even though I have gotten most of the wax out. And then same thing over here. I still feel like there's just a little bit of a hook there that we can go ahead and take out before doing our final polishing for our shape here. And at this point, this is a very conservative access, so it's going to end up much bigger, but on a test like this, you want to start smaller, and then as you need the end, you can just expand to then meet the criteria. Because if you end up too big in any one direction, you're just done at that point, and then it's going to be a retake. So now we're here, everything's starting to look pretty clean. Um, just gonna go ahead and smooth up all the walls. I'll extend the access about half a millimeter in each direction just to make sure we have straight line. And then just that little spot down in there too, we will remove. Now we're back, I've extended the size everywhere with my round burr. You can still see some little pink shading, and so we just go through and scrape that to make sure that that's not actually any wax that is our simulated pulp tissue in there. Still feels like under there we do have a little bit of a hook. So we will go ahead and extend it some more, but you can kind of see that tactile sensation there. And this is a point where you can keep unroofing on the upstroke with your round burr. If you want, you can just use an endo Z and use it just the first couple of millimeters because that's not that deep going that direction. But it seems like we've gotten almost all of it picked out. And then you'll see the red down there. That's just to do with the actual canal that you'd be instrumenting as the second part of this. But we're not gonna discuss that in this video. So here, yeah, we'll go ahead and, I mean, that looks pretty clean. So let's just go ahead and get rid of those hooks there and make sure that there's a smooth exit out of our access for filing.
So at this point I'm just kind of showing how you can do it with an Endo Zebra 2 very carefully. I'm doing it on high speed because we don't have a slow speed here, but this is a great time to use your slow speed. You can kind of see those little rough spots I'm working on. And then also that just kind of helps work on my shape while I'm doing it too. So just make sure you kind of want that rounded triangle. So here, that's a shape I'm pretty happy with. We'll go ahead and do some air water and just make sure that this is what we're happy with. So for us, that looks really good now. We'll go ahead and check these measurements. 